developers who are, are testing, uh, the, the key component is a understanding. Can you guys see the screen or is it, is it not showing? Hold up, pause. This is me, and currently I'm trying to get some participation points in my class. But do you know what my professor just said? Because honestly, I have no clue. And that's because I don't have the motivation nor the energy to listen to the content that I paid for. And I guess you could say this is where I messed up in my Zoom University experience. No, I'm not talking about actually paying attention in class. I mean, you see, I was actually putting in too much effort. I was using my own two filthy hands to do the manual labor that is typing into Zoom chat. And that's a big no-no. These are computer science classes, and I happen to be a computer science major, so let's automate that shit. Yeah. Upload Come by 12:15. Can you guys Let's all see go. that? Let's go. Okay. Yes. Let's go. Now. Let's go. So, how exactly did we get here? Let's ask past Jason for the answer. Do I alt tab out and play video games on the side? Yes. Do I still not pay attention even when I'm just watching my professor's lecture? Yeah. Do I even study? Of course I don't. Am I even passing my classes? You know what, that's a great question. I have absolutely no clue if I am or not. I treat Zoom classes like I do a bad podcast or Twitch stream. Simple background noise to fill in the void of silence that is being by yourself. I think nowadays professors are just mediocre Twitch streamers. Change my mind. In order to get a really good performance result, and this is important because Hello Professor oh, Student. Oh, oh my gosh. Will wow. this be on the final? Thank you, exam. student, for the 200 bits. That's a great question. Um, if you like the content, make sure you subscribe because when you become a tier three subscriber in my Zoom chat, you'll have access to my Zoom recordings and all of my answer sheets from the previous exams that I have earlier. So while I can't guarantee you an A, that'll definitely help in studying to help you get an A. So one of my first goals for this project was to not get caught using a bot. I'm not going to memorize all that. And so like the studious scholar that I am, I began my academic research and started looking at research papers on how to make an AI chatbot like Cleverbot, Alexa, Siri, OK Google, all that kind of technology that's kind of taking you And I had some really ambitious goals for this. I wanted to actually train a model or train an AI to actually answer all the questions that my professor could potentially give out to make it look like I'm actually participating in the class. And so I began going into the rabbit hole that is making AI, which is not very fun by the way, but despite how glamorous it looks, it's very tedious and very boring. After struggling to make an AI, I thought, whoa, 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 wait. This is actually the worst thing I could be doing right now because if I started making meaningful and correct contributions to the lecture, then I would immediately be found out because that's not even close to how I normally act in class. I'd be doing too much. So I scrapped the whole thing and made a list of common, easy questions that my professor usually asked the class. And I programmed my bot to handle those situations instead. My bot is able to answer profound questions such as, does that make sense? Can you guys see my screen? You know, stuff like that. Fortunately for me, my classes don't require me to have my video or mic on in order to attend the class. But I guess it's bad in the sense that it gives me even more power to isolate myself even further from having social interactions with other people. But I digress. I developed this whole thing in Python because of course I did. I avoid statically typed languages like the plague. C++, go away. Python for life. And for once, I didn't actually copy and paste my whole project. Ah, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I know, big surprise, huh? We're making big money moves out here, what can I say? This whole process was a scavenger hunt. Because all the pieces of functionality that I needed for this project, I knew were possible. Real-time speech-to-text, browser automation, keyword detection, those were all things I'm pretty sure has been done before, but there wasn't exactly a Medium article showing me every single step of the way like it has been in previous projects. 
The toughest part of the project was actually working within Zoom itself because I had to get the real-time audio from a Zoom meeting, which is a feature that Zoom themselves don't even support yet. I would show you the building process for this project, but it pretty much just looks like this. Hmm, I have no idea why this doesn't work. I have no idea why this works, but... I'll take it, I guess. So basically how my bot works is first I use a tool called Selenium, which you might as well call COVID because it's pretty sick. Selenium gives me the ability to simulate typing and clicking in a web browser. So that means it can log into my school account for me. It can join the Zoom meetings. It can mute myself. And finally, most importantly of all, it can interact with Zoom chat without using my two hands with the power of robot technology. That's pretty sweet. And once I'm in the meeting itself, I then use a virtual cable to route the audio coming from Zoom and send it over to Microsoft's real-time speech to text cloud service. And that's basically the equivalent of taking the audio jack, putting it into your speakers, and then taking the other end and plugging into your microphone input. Yeah, when you say it like that, it's pretty dumb, but it works. Eventually, Microsoft graciously hands me over a sentence of what they think the person just said. And then with that sentence, I do some brute force keyword detection. Microsoft has this feature built in, but I, I couldn't figure it out because I have the IQ of Einstein. So I just made my own. The way I implemented keyword detection is very, very simple. I use a loop to get every word in a sentence, and for every word, I then check if it belongs to a word in my keyword list. And I know exactly what you're thinking. Jason, that has a terrible performance. That has a big O notation of M plus N, where M is the number of keywords that I have, and N is the number of words that are in a given sentence. But it works fine, and it's quick enough for me, so I'm not gonna optimize it, you data structures and algorithms nerd. When my bot detects a keyword, that's it. I spent three whole days on this project and that's all it does. Here it is in action in some of my classes. Enjoy. I'm like extremely nervous for some reason. I really hope this works. Okay, and just like that, it's starting. Okay, okay, signing in, okay. Robot capture, what is this? What is this? It wouldn't be a normal computer science project if things actually went well. You see, the first obstacle that we faced was a robot capture that stopped our robot. Well, who would have thought? And after that, I faced a bunch of smaller errors that I had to fix in real time before my class ended. Another question would be, you know what? Here's a small little set, you know, it won't be as complicated for the- My child is working, but unfortunately, it's a snowflake because it's too sensitive right now. That means we have false positives. And basically what that means is that my keyword detection model doesn't question the intent of the user. If you're saying a statement or a question with the keyword, it doesn't matter. It'll spit out the message in Zoom chat anyways. We really only want to answer questions. If they're just saying a statement, we don't want it actually to say something. Fortunately, Microsoft is able to do this, so I had to add some custom code in real time, and it works. I'm so glad it works. You guys don't even know. Can you guys see the screen, or is it, is it not showing? Okay. Yes! Okay. Nope. Alright, so any questions on that one? Boom! There we go. No, when it works, it works. These, and then we'll talk about more. Questions! Thank goodness. About oh my gosh. how this is set up and what this really does. So yeah, any questions okay, at all? Question. You should have permissions to Yes! Let's go! Alright, everyone, take care, okay? And we'll see each other soon, okay? Bye. Hey, what's up? I don't know how to end a video, so here we are once again. Before you go, I do want to say something real quick, and that is... Thank you so much for watching. I sincerely appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. And if you're still in school, good luck with finals. If you're not in school and you're at work, good luck with your yearly review. And if you're not in work or in school, good luck with your yearly self-reflection review. And with that being said, my name is JJ on the block. Stay flaming hot. And I'll see you guys next time. I hope.